Hello everyone. So in the previous video, we saw, we learned how to create uh, this animated clip that we can, or basically an intro for YouTube, basically this uh, rectangle with maybe a logo or maybe a button that looks like a button. Now, if I show you this uh, clip, it will basically appear from the bottom and it will stay there for a while and then it will of course disappear. Now this looks good, but in reality, we want to reuse, I mean, we need some ability to reuse this uh, and uh, let me show you how to do it. So what we will do, we will first uh, click on this clip and there's also one more thing that I want to talk about, which I uh, learned. So let us say you have uh, some kind of a clip where you have a text, right? So whenever you double click on it and if you want this text to be dynamic, so basically based on uh, the video that you're working on, maybe you want uh, this text to change or maybe you want uh, a way where uh, this will become a placeholder. So you can actually say dollar and, and S and save it. So when you do this, uh, of course, this will be uh, saved. But now you have to make sure that whenever people are using it, they will have the option to define or basically enter the text. So the first thing that you will do or you have to do is basically double click on this and then there, there is an option on top called save as and if you click on save as it will uh, let you save uh, the title so you can just name it whatever you want so i'll just uh, write the one which is called as uh, okay let me just uh, let me just call call it as a spark says intro or maybe subscribe and uh, i will call it as a title spark says subscribe title so that i know that this is a title and i will update this and that is it now apart from this you may also want uh, because the thing is based on my knowledge so far of course you have this clip and it looks good but the clip is just a clip but you also want to copy the you may also want to copy the uh the animation or the effects and uh, you might be wondering whether we can uh, have uh, a title along with the animation so i, I think uh, having these animations or these effects separate is actually a good thing because you may not always want to bring this animation from the bottom maybe you want to bring it from the left or right so basically you can also save these animations separately and to do that you just need to click on this uh, clip and on the right hand side you have these uh, effects and these effects uh, are something that you can save uh, individually or you can also save the entire effect uh, like the complete set of these effects because I have two effects here. One is transform, the other one is uh, fade out. So if I click on save effect stack, you can actually name your effect, uh, whatever you want. So I'll name it as uh, spark says subscribe effects. And I'll just reuse the same name here. And uh, that is it. So once you do that, the effect will actually be saved uh, somewhere here. And, I, and as you can see, there is already one uh, effect which I basically used earlier. So I'll probably get rid of the uh, other one. So I have this effect. And by the way, the location of the effect is actually on your directory, uh, which I will share. Uh, so basically, whenever you save this effect, uh, and by the way, of course, this is for uh, Linux. I'm not really sure about uh, your other operating systems. Maybe if you're using Mac, I don't know. So if you go to local share kid in life, and if you take a look at uh, this directory called uh, effects so this will be saved here because you may want to version control it because it is nothing but uh, let us just take a look at it because it is nothing but uh, but a uh, file an xml file so you can see here that uh, this xml file will, will have these two effects which is uh, something that you can reuse version control if you want why not i mean i i, I, lo I love when you have uh, these things stored as a text file okay next thing let us reuse this so i'll just uh, you know save this title which is nothing but a title and which we saved uh, as a title so whenever you save this as a title it will be saved in a directory uh, you know a title directory or a, any directory it is totally up to you so i'll just create a new file a new video and I will import one uh, one video here, which I will uh, talk about. So let us say this is one video and I want this video to 
of course, uh, uh, have some animation or basically yeah. somewhere okay. in between. Uh, let me just reduce the audio so that it is not bothering us. Okay. So let us say this is the this is the video that I'm working on and I want uh, this uh, video to have uh, somewhere here that animation or that clip. So what I can do, I can say uh, that I want to add uh, a clip or, or a folder and then I can uh, I can select the clip. But there is also one option called add template title because we saved that particular title as a template. It will actually appear on top and uh, this will let us uh, Basically, let us say the title name is uh, subscribe, sub, sub, box is subscribe title, and I can actually enter here uh, my name and I can click on the OK and then I will bring it here. So, this looks good because I have this uh, instead of sparks, I have my name. So, basically, whenever, whenever you add a new title, you can actually write uh, whatever text you want. And uh, if I now play this. So this looks good, but uh, as you can see, there is no effect, which is in a way a good thing because you can now go to the effects and then you can find this effect, which, and by the way, you can always search, I believe, using uh, the search on top and you can then bring your effects. And this, in a way, is a good thing because now you have the option to save your effects separately from your uh, titles, which, which is nothing but a template title. All right, so let us now take a look at it. So this looks good, right? Simple, easy, and uh, very effective. And I like that because uh, I can now version control my effects, uh, my, my common effects. And because they are all stored in local share, uh, Kden Life folder. So whenever you, are, you move to a different computer, or maybe if you're like me, if you're using dot .files to, uh, I mean, I, I version control my dot .files. So if I want the same effects to have, to, to be there on a, on a different machine, I'll, I'll have them. And these effects are nothing but effects. But uh, the titles are something that you will save where, wherever you want. And uh, because these titles might also have images. So let me show you one of the title. So if I go to the directory, which is, uh, I believe, uh, what is the directory I want to use? Maybe I'll take a look at this video one. So there is a title called Sparks Subscribe. And as you can see, it is a title. But if I look at the file, and uh, if I because this particular title also has an image, so I believe the image itself, and this is something that I, that I was checking. I think the image itself is now saved as uh, like a base 64, so it has embedded the image in the title itself, which is uh, fine to be honest, because uh, I may 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 want may also want to change the image, but uh, I guess that is fine um, because. Whenever you're saving these uh, titles as templates, make sure you also save them as. Uh, uh, I mean, just ma just make sure that you save your titles as well, along with uh, saving them as a template. Uh, I, I guess that will work. I, I still need to figure out the best way because I, I prefer doing things that are reusable and at the same time. Although this image is now embedded, which is in a way a good thing, but. Uh, I don't really, to be honest, I don't really mind the, the actual path because when you save a title without a template, it will also uh, let you save the title. But in that case, the file will have the path. If let me just verify it very quickly, so I'll just open the um, the the Caden Life uh, the, the the title. So this is my title, and this is nothing but a file. But when you double click on it you have the option to download, or not download, sorry, to save as. So basically you can save it as a title, uh, but a template title basically. And you can actually then, uh, uh, I mean, when you click on this button, it will, uh, it, it will also embed. So maybe you don't really want to do it. Maybe you can just uh, do a simple uh, save as title. But the good thing about this option is that uh, I mean, when you're using templates or when you have dollar $s, it's, it's like a placeholder. Uh, so I'm just trying to share a few things that hopefully will help you to understand how Kiden Live works. And it is quite convenient, useful, and simple. All right, that is it.
ನಡೆದಿಟ್ಟು ಬಾಯ್ ಬಾಯ್